Hey guys, it's JD from Ponzo World, and today we're unboxing and reviewing this dash cam made by Vment. Now you can find this dash cam here on Amazon. Links for it will be down below this video if you want to go check it out and possibly pick it up. By the way, $99 on Amazon, so not a bad price for a dash cam. Uh, let's go and start with showing you around the box. You can see a little picture of it. Uh, looks like a model number right there, and it says it's 4K. On the back here, we have the Amazon label. Uh, product name right there, dash camera, of course. Model number, uh, 1080p resolution, 4K, uh, emergency locking, all right. Starlight, night vision, and GPS. Uh, we'll see all about that when we test it out. So let's go in and open up the box here. And it looks like you pull right here. There you go. Instruction manual right here. And here is all the stuff in boxes. Let's go and put this over here. Looks like we have a little uh, tool right here. It looks like maybe a charging cable or um, maybe a data cable of sorts. Here's the mount. And then, okay, so here's where you plug it into like your Pro Volt uh, cigarette lighter. And this is the long cable that'll go to the dash cam. I guess this one's just for connecting to your computer. Um, and then in here must be the actual dash cam itself. Yep, here it is. Pretty nice. You can see it's got a camera here uh, facing towards you and possibly even out your back window. Um, up here, this will, of course, uh, shoot through your uh, your windshield. So there it is. Pretty cool. Going to go ahead and give it a charge and uh, put in an SD card and uh, well, go ahead and try it out. You are watching the footage coming from this dash camera. Now, as you can tell, I have the audio on, so hopefully the microphone sounds pretty decent. Um, you can see the rear-facing camera uh, isn't pointing at me. As you guys know, I don't really like to show my face. Um, but you can see this is what it looks like. Frame rate and everything. Uh, right now, you're basically just looking at the passenger seat. Uh, maybe some at the rear window there. And then, of course, up here, you are viewing the road. Uh, so let's go ahead and go here. And by the way, this is factory uh, settings. So whatever it was set to for uh, default uh, from factory is what it's set to right now. And I didn't change around any resolution or frame rate or anything. So uh, this is what it looks like right here. Hopefully pretty smooth. Hopefully the audio sounds good. I guess we'll see when we get back. You are watching the footage coming from this dash camera. Now, as you can tell, I have the audio on, so hopefully the microphone sounds pretty decent. Um, you can see the rear-facing camera uh, isn't pointing at me. As you guys know, I don't really like to show my face. Um, but you can see this is what it looks like. Frame rate and everything. Uh, right now, you're basically just looking at the passenger seat. Uh, maybe some at the rear window there. And then, of course, up here, you are viewing the road. Uh, so let's go ahead and go here. And by the way, this is factory uh, settings, so whatever it was set to for uh, default uh, from factory is what it's set to right now. And I didn't change around any resolution or frame rate or anything. So uh, this is what it looks like right here. Hopefully pretty smooth. Hopefully the audio sounds good. I guess we'll see when we get back. All right, so currently I have the uh, dash cam plugged up here. Let's go ahead and turn on power to it. And here it'll boot up. There it is. You can see in the top left, there is my phone recording this thing. Uh, whatever is coming through the camera right here, it's going to be on the top left. Uh, you can change that. I'll go over that in a minute. Uh, you can see you have the amount of time you've uh, been recording in the top right. Miles per hour, the uh, resolution you're recording in, uh, the date down there, and a couple of other things. You can see I have the microphone on uh, by that little icon and uh, a whole bunch of other icons on the left uh, saying the IR is on and the uh, the G-Force uh, detector and stuff like that. So uh, there it is, that's when you turn it on. This is what you're gonna be greeted with. It will automatically start recording. Um, and when you automatically turn it off, it will uh, turn off just like that. And uh, obviously it'll stop recording 
um, and it'll cut power to it. So there it is. All right, so now let's go ahead and go over a couple of the settings. So if you press this button right here, the furthest one on the right, and press that, you can see it turns the microphone off right there. If you press this one right over here, it actually switches the camera views now. So now the rear facing camera is the big one here and the front facing one, uh, you can see it's the garage door, uh, is the smaller one. Or you can have just the, uh, the front facing one or just the rear one. And then there it is. That's what it was uh, set to from factory right there. Uh, let's go and press the M button here. That is for mode. Actually, I forgot. You have to stop recording first. And then you could go into there. And you can see there's your resolution, uh, your loop recording. Uh, basically, loop recording. Here, I'm going to go into it. Uh, you can see I have mine set for three minutes. Uh, you go one minute, three minute, or five minute, or off. And basically what this will do is this just sets how long the uh, the video clip is. So three minutes here, after it's been recorded for three minutes, it'll save and then make a new video. Um, in my main car, my IS300, um, I have it set to five minutes. I prefer longer video. Um, let's go and press this. Actually, I guess I could have just pressed OK. Anyways, going down here, I have exposure, wide dynamic range, uh, the G sensor, which I believe is set on, uh, yeah, it is. It's set to medium from, uh, from factory. Keep, uh, keep going down here. We have the IR LED. Uh, that is basically so when it turns dark, uh, it turns on little IR uh, well, LEDs and uh, it turns everything black and white. And basically you can see a lot more uh, versus if it didn't have those IR LEDs. So it's actually a very nice feature. Uh, here's the rear camera mirror. Um, I already went through there. You just either turn it off or on. Uh, motion detection here. Basically what that is, if you have it on, if it detects motion, it'll make a short little uh, clip of video. You know, maybe somebody's trying to rob your car or something and they walk in front of it. Uh, this should be recording when they walk in front of it. Uh, if you have it on, of course. I record audio. I have that on. And then also the date stamp. Um, I believe I, yeah, I do have that on. Um, also from factory. Now uh, this is going to go here again. Press it again. And uh, you can see here, this is more of like the uh, the system settings. Uh, we got date and time, uh, backlight here, which is basically how long the screen stays on uh, after you flip the key on or supply power to this thing. Uh, the beep sound, you can turn that off and on. Uh, boot sound also off and on. Uh, you change the language, the frequency of the video. Um, either, the, either the frequency of the video or the frequency of the screen. Um, I can't recall which one, uh, the GPS, you could turn that off or on right now. Mine is on, um, also from factory. Basically what that is, um, it, it just records where you are, um, on the video, uh, clip. So right now this current, well, this video ain't recording right now on the dash cam cause I'm in the settings. Uh, but if it was recording and I put it into my computer, um, there's a tutorial of this in the uh, in the manual. Uh, you put it in the computer and then you copy some sort of a, a link and you put it into a browser and it'll have the uh, the video clip with the GPS data. Something like that. Pretty crazy, but it's a nice feature um, in case you have to ever utilize that feature. Uh, it would be helpful. Uh, speed unit, which mine is at two mile per hour. Uh, time zone setting, uh, you can format the SD card, uh, you could restore all of the settings to default, and then, of course, version. We're not going to worry about that. Uh, so there it is. There's all settings, quite a few of them. Uh, however, a lot of them are pretty dang helpful. Now, right here, if you press OK, you can see it'll start recording on the top right. Uh, that is basically manual recording. If I press OK again should stop just like that it did and then of course you have your power button here press it once just turns the screen off press and hold it will of course turn the entire camera off right there and there it is 
All right, so really quickly, just want to show you guys my setup. This is in our 2003 uh, F-150. Down here is the 12-volt sockets, and I have the wire uh, running along here. Of course, if you're doing this uh, permanently, um, you'd have this, like, zip-tied up under there to another harness or something. Uh, it's kind of just, you know, have it out of the way instead of dangling here. Um, I don't know if this is going to stay in here or if it's going to go into my dad's Dodge. I uh, haven't really decided on that. Uh, anyways, cable runs along here, it goes up here between this gap, and then it runs along the pillar right here. Uh, just tuck it in there. Um, running wires for dash cams in any car is super easy, um, except this one, because <laughs> I just, you know, did this super quick. Um, if I wanted to, I could tuck that, but uh, it might be coming out very soon. Anyways, then it runs along the headliner here, and right now it is going right down to the camera. Um, I had to put it down here so that I could set up my tripod and, uh, you know, record all the settings and stuff uh, for you guys. Uh, but normally it would be mounted right over here. Uh, in this case, like behind the mirror a little bit. Um, and, you know, you wouldn't have all this wire drooping down. But I had to put it down here just for the sake of the video. Anyways, there it is. Uh, this is your little GPS. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the GPS basically lives right in here. Um, you could plug this directly into the camera right there if you wanted to and just bypass the GPS. Um, however, the GPS little bit here, it's actually built into the mount. So uh, if you wanted to bypass that completely, well, you couldn't use the mount then. So anyways, there it is. That's what it looks like. Pretty cool. All right, so there it was an unboxing and review on this dash cam. Uh, overall, so far, I'm pretty happy with it. Really like that it has this camera right here facing backwards. Um, so in case you get rear-ended or something, well, you'll have it on camera. Uh, super nice, bunch of features. Uh, overall, so far, it seems like a good dash camera. And uh, from what I saw, I just watched the uh, the video on here a little while ago. It seems to be uh, pretty decent quality. Um, of course, I'll really see, you know, once I load it onto the, uh, the computer and check it out that way. But so far, it seems pretty all right. And so far, I do like it. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's really it for this video. Hope everybody enjoyed. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.